Well, hello again. Uh, here's a good question for the five minute treatment. Should the Queen's guards wear bear skins? Okay, the question is, should the soldiers that guard the Queen wear hats made out of bear skin? Uh, in some circles, they're called busbies. Well, these hats have been worn in armies for centuries. Uh, back to a time when soldiers <laughs> wanted to appear taller in battle to intimidate their opponents. That seems a bit quaint now. <laughs> anyway, they're made from the, fa uh, from the fur of Canadian black bears. So the question is, is this okay? Uh, well, now, those who would say yes, point to the state of California, a place very involved in environmental issues and so forth. And when they banned fur sales, they made an exception for um, cultural and religious, religious issues. Well, why not follow them? In other words, acknowledge there's a place for it. Uh, they also argue it's simply a byproduct of the annual bear cull in Canada, and that's necessary to, uh, you know, protect people and private property and so forth. And uh, of course, the fur trade states that banning fur will simply result in, in an illegal underground trade and that'd be far more injurious to the to the bears uh, <laughs> and it's just one more repudiation of our glorious past brought on by woke activists and other pathetic people so the argument in other words is it's harmless and it's also a slap in the face of tradition well what about those who say no no uh, Fur farming became illegal in Britain over 20 years, but inexplicably, um, selling fur is still, still legal. It seems that may change after Brexit when we can enact our own laws, and apparently consultation is in prospect, so I suppose a banning of bearskins may be coming up for discussion soon. Uh, the Queen recently chose to cease buying garments made from uh, animal fur for herself, so it would be incongruous and inconsistent for her to sanction its use by her guardians. <laughs> and I guess most importantly, I thought we had moved on from killing animals just to provide materials for fancy garments. <laughs> so those are the arguments against bearskins. Okay, what's my take? Well, I think it's a heavier issue than one might initially think. Ah, uh, I fully recognize the attractions of preserving sentimental relics of the past. Uh, you know, polishing the regimental silver and all that. But some such symbols, like uh, statues of men enriched by the slave trade, uh, cross a line. Uh, making garments out of beer pelts is another such example. It's a vestige of a time when we had no compunctions about being pretty cruel to both people and animals. And I have to say, here in Britain, we are inclined to oppose scrutiny of unpleasant behavior, past or even in the present, especially at the hands of establishment figures. But all that seems to be changing, especially in the digital age, when such things can't easily be hidden. Everything seems to be up for scrutiny now, and in this case, it's time to change ban them. Okay, well, <laughs> I imagine half of you aren't going to like that, but anyway, that's the way I feel. So if you like the, the usual thing, give me a like, uh, subscribe, comment, uh, notify, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.